Then after my wedding, my first outing, I took my wife. I'm sure you guys have, would not have known this place. It's a very exotic place. Nobody would have gone to this. Nobody would have heard this place. Kurg, okay? Like, <laughs> I'm so orthodox that day. Hey, Kurg is honeymoon destination. Like we went there, okay? We went there. After two days, our hospitality partner, okay, the hotel receptionist, okay? She was like, so there is a jungle safari nearby. You can go and watch 120 kilometers from here. You can go and have fun. I was like, wow, nice. Like my wife loves animals, okay? I also love animals on the plate. No, it's so good. So we thought, okay, fine. Let me ask them for a same pinch moment. I asked them for Tata Safari to go to Safari. They didn't like it. So instead, they gave us the most smoothest and the most comfortable vehicle ever. More the Omni. <laughs> what a shitty piece of vehicle is that? That's the only vehicle. If I sit, my knee still be above my forehead. <laughs> I'll be looking like Baba Ramdev. <laughs> The journey started, we had to go through what? Bad roads, wet roads, no roads, ghat roads, everywhere. I hit my forehead at least 47 and a half times with my knee. I, I felt as if my stomach was getting squeezed by my large intestine and my small intestine together. It was a very, very awkward feeling. So finally we reached that place, Nagarole, and then we got down the van and the driver was like, Sir, you missed something. I was like, oh sorry, that's my backbone. No, it was... <laughs> It was that horrible. We went inside, and then we got into the safari bus. Okay, the safari bus made this omni look better. We got the last row. Okay, from the last row you could see all the animals, right? I'm talking about the people inside the bus. Horrible creatures they are. Like when they tell you not to throw any trash out, they'll throw it. Idiots. They are the same people who like their own status message in Facebook. Like idiots. And also comment saying, good one, bro. You know, these people are idiots. The journey started, we went to, to the deep, thick forest. And within five minutes, we saw elephants, cheetahs, lions, and tigers. All of them were amazingly painted on the signboards. <laughs> Bullshit, nothing. First 25 minutes, we saw only two monkeys. Out of which one monkey is like, <laughs> losers go. At the 26th minute, the bus stopped and the driver was like, shh. He pointed, we all saw spotted deers, okay? Like a couple of pictures taken. And these deers were so used to people taking photos, they started giving posts. <laughs> One deer gave duck face posts. One deer tried to do this, couldn't do manufacturing defect. Like, couldn't do, okay? And two deers were there, they're always together, walking together, running together, eating together. Dear friends, okay? <laughs> And after some time we proceeded, again spotted deers, spotted deers, spotted deers, spotted deers, spotted deers. After one hour, the bus stopped again. We saw finally a different animal. All of us gave high fare to each other, unspotted deers. <laughs> Bloody sambar deers. We were so disappointed. Just before the journey got over, the bus stopped again. The driver was like, shh. Pointed, we saw there was nothing. Then he said, look down. We saw it down. Poop. Tiger poop. <laughs> He's like, this is fresh. The tiger will be somewhere nearby. <laughs> Couple of people took photos of that. <laughs> and we were waiting. Okay, then we heard some sound. Bloody again spotted deers. <laughs> it is spotted deers poop. Even the poop was spotted. <laughs> the driver didn't know shit. <laughs> we were so disappointed. We came out, we went to the city, and even the stray dogs were looking like spotted. Yes, it was so... 